They're called the Maras, a gang identified by their menacing tattoos. Having unleashed a wave of violence across large parts of Central America, their reign of terror is now spreading even further and leaving thousands fearing for their lives. As the sun rises on this river on the northern border of Guatemala, these Central Americans are preparing to cross into Mexico. They will join hundreds of thousands who come each year. Many of them are fleeing for their lives. I left my country because we suffered a tragedy. This woman, well called Paula, and her nine-year-old son, Eduardo, fled Honduras after threats from a gang that is terrorizing Central America. After two days, they threw a paper at us that said that they would not leave any of my husband's blood relatives alive. Paula's husband had been a member of the Maris, a vicious gang known for their elaborate tattoos. He decided to quit his gang before Eduardo was born. From the time I got pregnant, he said, I will not be a bad example for my son. The family moved away, but after seven years of struggling to support themselves, they returned to their hometown. Within months, Paula says armed Maris hunted down her husband. When they stopped shooting, I went out with my son and saw my husband, gunned down, with blood in his ears. Paula's husband, his brother, and their mother were murdered. Paula went into hiding, but soon realized that she would never be safe in Honduras. She made her way to Mexico, but is still terrified. I feel like they are going to look for me. I am very scared, because over there, it is full of gangs. In every corner, it is full of gangs. And there is no doubt that among the migrants, there are gang members with their telltale tattoos coming from Central America for either safety or revenge. They have uh, one of the highest levels of violence in the world, and uh, especially uh, organized crime uh, uh, gangs. Hans Hartmark is head of the UN's refugee agency in southern Mexico. He says that when they realized how many migrants were escaping gang violence, they lobbied to have gang threats considered a basis for asylum. Mexico is now recognizing uh, people fleeing from Central America due to gang violence. Paula and Eduardo have now been granted asylum. I feel that I can breathe fresh air here again. And God help me, may God help me, particularly to pull through with my son. But as long as Central American countries are unable to provide safety to their own citizens, many more victims of gang violence will continue to pour into Mexico.